Welcome to the Weather App in JavaScript tutorial. In this video series, we are going to show you how to create a weather app in JavaScript that displays the temperature, location, an icon representing the weather that is currently occurring, thunderstorm, rain, snow, etc., the percentage of humidity, and the wind speed. So let's take a look at uh, the HTML that's generating this image over here. And so we are linking to a style sheet, styles.css. All of this is provided. You can download this and use it, or you can come up with your own if you'd like. Additionally, we're linking to app.js. That's our application that's running. And if we hop over there, you'll notice that the application.js has nothing in it right now because we haven't written anything. And that's why we have zero, unknown. That's why everything's just sort of in a default state. Additionally, in the JavaScript program, we're going to need access to each one of the things that we want to be able to modify. So we have an ID for temperature, location, the image for the icon, the humidity, the wind, and the direction. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll hop on over to app.js and start writing our code. The first thing we want to do is we want to create a variable for each one of the uh, elements that we want to be able to change. So I'm going to create one for the temperature, location, icon, humidity, wind, and direction. And the next thing we want to do is that when the application loads, we want to go ahead and initialize these to be the elements on the screen. So I'm going to say temp is going to be equal to document uh, dot get element by ID and the name of that uh, span is temperature like that. I'm going to do this for each one of these so lock is going to be equal to uh, document dot get element by ID location. I'm going to just copy this. I'm going to do it for icon as well and this is going to be icon and again humidity it's going to be humidity seeing a pattern yet wind is going to be wind and direction it's going to be direction great now the next thing we want to do is we want to be able to specify how we update these so we're going to write a function called update we're going to pass in the weather conditions that we want it to take so Let's go ahead and write that function. We'll write it up here above the load, uh, on load. And so we're going to call function update. And it's going to take an object called weather that contains all the information we need. And so what we're going to do is do wind.innerHTML is going to be equal to weather.wind. We're going to do um, direction.innerHTML is equal to weather.direction humidity dot inner html is going to be equal to weather dot humidity um, the location dot inner html is going to be equal to weather dot lock the uh, what are we missing here temp dot inner html is going to be equal to weather dot temp and finally, we have a special thing here. So you'll notice each of these are using inner HTML, but the icon is going to be using source because if we hop over to the um, HTML, what's actually happening here is image. Uh, we need to update the source tag, and you'll notice we have these special images. So there's an image folder, and inside of that, there's a codes folder. And so the API we're using is going to send us back a numeric code representing the type of weather and each one of those is an icon in that folder. So what we want to do is we want this to actually be equal to images code plus weather dot icon plus uh, dot PNG since all these are going to be PNGs. Okay. Um, and the only thing we're missing now is in our onload, we need to generate one of these weather uh, types. So for now, we're just going to have it be uh, some default values that we come up with right now. 
So weather dot wind. Let's go ahead and say the wind is 3.5 miles per hour. Weather dot humidity. We'll go ahead and go with 35% uh, humidity. Weather dot, uh, oh, we forgot the direction of the wind. We'll go ahead and say the weather is going blowing north. Move that up here to be uh, sort of in the same order that we have things. The weather dot location. Let's go ahead and say we're in Boston. Weather dot temp. Let's say we are 45 degrees Fahrenheit. And finally, weather dot icon. Let's go ahead and go with icon code 200. And I believe that is the uh, stormy weather uh, code. So let's go ahead and refresh here. Um, and we almost have everything right here. We have an undefined here. And for whatever reason, this image isn't showing up. So let's figure out what we did wrong. So uh, I can see right here on my location, I had a typo. I have LCO. So I'm going to go back and change that to LOC. Needs to match exactly here. And let's refresh that. So now we get Boston. And I'm not quite sure what's going on with this here. But let's go ahead and use our console to figure out what icon.source is at this point. And we'll see what we're trying to load. And if we open up our console uh, in our web browser, we can get that uh, on line 15, we're having a problem. And it's saying the server responded with the status 404. So it's saying it can't find images slash code slash 200.png. Um, and I believe what's happening is we wanted codes here. So that's just a little typo. And we'll refresh that. Perfect. So that gives you a little bit of a uh, how to debug if you're running into issues. Just open up your developer console and see what's going on. All right. So this is a nice little start for us here. Uh, we've created some default values to load. We have an update function. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is actually connect this up to an API that will get us the actual weather at some specific location.